All right, Wink on the road, 5-2 and two against Ira and the Braves, undefeated at 7-0. Out in the mountains as this big district matchup kicks off. Ira Ann would start their first drive doing pretty well. Kyler Miller, the nice pass over to Joe Kennedy. And he might be able to run for president. He keeps making plays like this. Runs this into the red zone, but the drive would soon be spoiled. Miller, the pass intercepted in the corner of the end zone. Nice play there by Zach Rojas. And then Wink able to capitalize on a big drive of their own a little bit later on. Nicholas Gray dropping back. Look at the arm on this to Wade Halterman for the big touchdown grab. The Wildcats go up 7-0. They strike first. Then, at the end of the half, a little controversy. Iran's Angel Petralba looks like he got the touchdown to put the Braves up. However, the refs say he was down at the one-yard line. Coach Maurer not too happy about it as Wink goes into the half leading 7-6. to six. But he'd be pretty happy later on. 24-7, the final. The Braves turn it on in that second half. Our own Caleb Califano out at the game caught up with Coach Maurer. All right, guys. Ira am the big winners tonight. I'm here with Coach Maurer. And Coach, 8-0. That's a good place to be right now for the season. Talk a little bit about how, how you guys are feeling. How's the team feeling? Well, you know, pretty good. I mean, that's that's about as good as you can be to this point. It's seven non-district games in an open week is an awful long time to wait to get to district play, and it was uh, it was a tough opener against a good football team. Wink's got a good football team, very well coached, and I knew it would be tough, but it's it's good to be here now. Let's talk a little bit about the mental fortitude of your team. Obviously, there's a little bit of controversy at the end of the first half. You guys pushed through that and really broke through and pulled this game away. Talk about how the mental fortitude of your team. Well, we just had to get in there at halftime. We had to we had calm down a little bit, everybody, kids and coaches a little bit, and say, look, we got to control, try to control these things and some things we don't control, and and uh, calm down and do what we're supposed to be doing and worry about us. And and I think kids did a good job of that. You know, they've been very resilient bunch to this point. We've had some some close games that we've been fortunate uh, to to come away and win. And you know, I'd like to think that builds a little toughness. You know. And them when they get in a tough game just like this one that they they, they believe that they can win and uh, you know may, maybe we're at that point I don't know we'll see but um, but uh, very very proud of them for sure absolutely and coach and a lot of teams have goals they set throughout the season what are some goals that you really think you hit and what are some goals you still think you need to hit for the future of the season well I mean one of our goals to have a winning season and fortunately we got that you know, a few weeks ago and, and another one is uh, you know win the district championship uh, if they're going to give a goal ball we we certainly like to like to have it but you know I think we, we go out to try to win every game and, and I think sometimes you get it done and maybe sometimes you don't but I think you have to go in with that mindset and your kids know that we're, we're going in expecting to win so um, but anyway good spot to be at this point absolutely coach congratulations on the win good luck for the rest of the season I ran the big winners in tonight's games guy guys I'm gonna send it right back to you